Okay, today we're going to do a demo of a Tram Titan or Titan 1. This, I believe, is a one of a kind uh, factory uh, mock up model. Uh, on the front, doesn't look very much different than a uh, parts Tram Titan 1 I got right here. About the only two differences I see on the front is that uh, the prototype mock-up has a uh, phono mic plug, where the other tri Tram Titans had a standard four-pin Tram type uh, mic plug, and also the uh, mock-up has a uh, slot for a uh, crystal for uh, crystal receive. Where the uh, most uh, other Tram Titans do not have that on the front. Even though I have seen a couple. What makes this uh, Tram different than any other Tram I've ever seen is. One, it has the uh, factory copper chassis. Made out of solid copper. Whereas every other Tram I've ever seen has the uh, standard aluminum chassis. That's the parts one again there. There are a few other differences. Probably the biggest and most obvious one is that uh, all other Titans have a Collins mechanical filter that's rectangular sitting right there. Whereas this was sold to me saying it did not have any Collins filter. And uh, in the picture I didn't see any but those two guys right in the middle of the screen there are two cylindrical Collins mechanical filters. Uh, one for wide and one for narrow, kind of like a Browning R27S23, which has a, a wide narrow switch. Um, this one also has one that's not labeled. It's part of the uh, crystal receive switch here. It's um, wide, narrow, and crystal. The other difference that I uh, saw that was really piqued my interest in this radio besides the uh, copper chassis was the uh, two Navistas there, dual Navistor, um, factory installed. Whereas no uh, other tram, you can see all the sockets, use Navistas. This copper chassis has a uh, dual Navistor front end. Kind of like some Brownings have, or most Brownings have, not all, um, for excellent um, sensitivity and receive. And then you got the Collins filters too. Um, you can look at the IF cans, and they look more like the older Browning IF cans on this radio, as opposed to the uh, normal Tram Titan IF cans. And. Uh, Last thing I found experimenting with this radio, there are some other differences, like it has this um, sealed can relay, where this one has a uh, regular, um, like a plug-in relay. But one other thing I liked is it has a uh, swinging choke um, to filter out the uh, power supply, where um, normal trams do not have it over here. No swinging choke, it just uses capacitors. This one has the capacitors also, but it has the uh, swinging choke. So that's the major differences. There are a few more minor differences with this radio, but um, that's the major differences with this uh, factory prototype Tram Titan with the uh, copper chassis. I guess my favorite radio as of now. Receive is excellent. Oh, also it has a um, 6BQ5 for the modulator where um, the uh, normal Tram Titans have a uh, 6GK6 so it's got a better modulator tube also for more modulation doesn't do a whole lot of watts <clears throat> Red Dead Can, hello 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 under two hello Swinging about four and a half average on a whistle, which is about normal for a unmodified Titan. Hello. 
But the thing I like about this radio more than anything else is, of course, the receive. Beautiful tone. Right there is a uh, 100,000 microvolts on the signal generator. And I'm going through an external speaker up there. <laughs> speaker on this sounds good, but I, I just love the tone through the external speaker. 10,000 microvolts. 1,000. 100. 10. 1. 0.1 microvolt. Still getting a uh, decent receive. This is low nose noise floor. Great receiving radio. Probably one of the best I've ever heard. And just a decent talker. Okay, that's going to be it for the rare. Probably one of a kind, tram, prototype, copper chassis with the dual Novista front end and the dual Collins mechanical filters.